electricity can kill. If you work with or close to any live elements, it is essential to take precautions. An electric shock occurs when you come into contact with a live element or a conductor, such as water or metal, which forms a link between you and the electrical device. If you receive an electric shock, a current of electricity spreads throughout your body. A current of 500 milliamps passing through the heart is fatal, but even low-level currents can cause severe burns or lead to other injuries. Check your surroundings before you start work. Before beginning work, check for potential sources of electricity near your workplace and ensure that all tools are in good condition. Tools used in electrical installation work must be equipped with insulating handles and can only be used within the limit of the authorized voltage. Always use the correct tools for the job. Homemade insulating tools are dangerous and should never be used. Finally, always check that any insulating material is in good condition and not torn, cracked or worn. The five safety measures. The following five safety measures should always be applied when working on electrical installations or equipment. Disconnect the installation or equipment. Make sure that the installation cannot be switched on without your knowledge. Check that the installation is not live. Ensure that the installation is earthed and cannot short circuit. Make sure that any potential conductors of electricity are removed or insulated. By always following these five safety measures in the correct order, you can work safely. Once the work is finished, reverse the procedure to put the installation back to working order. For high voltage installations, you must work on an insulated floor using voltmeters, lock out and tag out material specialist tools and individual protective equipment. A minimum of two people should work together to make work safe on live electrical lines. Good lighting is essential in work safety. Never work in a room with insufficient or faulty lighting. It can be dangerous. Unless you are working on an electrical installation, you should maintain a safe distance to prevent accidental contact with it. Emergency switches are usually red. Remember where they are in case of emergency. Keep the environment dry. Liquids and dampness are dangerous in the presence of electricity. Wet tools or wet or sweaty clothes can act as a conductor and could increase both the risk from and the strength of the current. Individual protection. Protect yourself by wearing the appropriate clothing. You should always wear non-flammable work clothes that are rated for the hazard. Always wear safety shoes with insulated soles and heels. Never wear a tie or a scarf. Remove all metal jewelry, rings and watches, since gold and silver are very good conductors. In the case of a short circuit caused by jewelry, an electric arc may be formed with fatal results. Tool belts are practical. However, metallic mounts, rivets and tools make the belts unsuitable for work in small areas as they may come into contact with live surfaces. So the belt should be removed before beginning to work in confined spaces. A non-conductive helmet protects you against electric shocks, combustions and falling and moving objects. If you are working near live circuits, you should also protect your face. First aid for electrical accidents. When the electric current passes through the body, the muscles contract. The victim is unable to free him or herself from the live object. In this case, switch off the electricity as quickly as possible to stop the current.
If you cannot switch off the electricity, try to free the victim from the electric current with the help of a non-conductive object. For example, a broom handle. After freeing the victim, lay him or her down in the recovery position. Check the pulse and breathing. Call an ambulance or a doctor by dialing 999. Find yeah. out whether the patient can hear you and can answer your questions. If you cannot feel the victim's pulse or detect signs of breathing, begin resuscitation and continue until professional help arrives. Summary. Working with electrical installations and appliances is dangerous. You can, however, protect yourself and your colleagues against danger. Your company's technical safety measures are important. However, it is your personal behavior which determines their effectiveness. If you do not follow the correct safety procedures, you needlessly expose yourself and others to electrical dangers.